Hey everybody, it's Chris Cut, NS Extra from Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. I've been swamped with a lot of things and spread really thin. Had a lot going on in the house and uh, pouring concrete and all kinds of little odd projects. But I'm finally here and I gave myself another deadline, which I don't like doing because when I don't make them, I get discouraged. But uh, this deadline is insane because H2O is in a couple weeks. Uh, Broke East is in like a week. I've basically given myself, uh, tw uh, it's actually in 10 days, so I've given myself 10 days to finish this trailer, and I haven't even started it. The only thing I've done so far is cut it in half, which you guys saw, and I've left it there. So in order for me to make this happen, I had to ask for help from friends. So there's Eddie. He's got garage specialties. He's got the Rocket Bunny Miata. He was on the channel once before. This is my friend Jay. Jay has just called Jay. He's a DSM guy. And if you guys have any eclipses or evos or anything DSM, he is the absolute man when it comes to all that stuff. Uh, so anyway, um, today I have just taken measurements and I'm going to get some square tubing. And I am going to attempt to make a sort of cage in here for supports for my false doors and for the front. Uh, the other thing I am going to do is build a tongue for this. And I have to figure out how to get a hitch on this car. So stay tuned. That's what's going on. So this is going to be challenging. Um, I still have to figure out the doors for up there. Since a hitch is going on here, and this is a unibody, so the frame is part of the body, and it's made out of aluminum, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get a hitch on here. There's an aluminum crash bar back here. I don't know if I could just bolt a steel hitch receiver to it, get something universal, and put it on there. Uh, as far as adding frame, basically, to the frame of the car, uh, the exhaust is going to be in the way if I were to lower it, so I might have to come down all the way below it. Um, so that's figuring out the hitch receiver for this car the trailer um, I have an idea of what I'm gonna do is uh, right here will be this tunnel it's almost meant for it is where the tongue is gonna be um, I know there's some kind of mathematical equation I don't know what it is or how to figure it out to make the tongue be long enough to get 10 to 15 percent of the trailer weight on the tongue weight but I'm gonna take a big piece of aluminum square tubing from here come back I'm gonna make another piece go across here, so I'm gonna make a T. I have these bolt holes here that are already here, so I might weld some ears on and drill those out and put some bolts in. I might continue the first part of the T to make a cross and come right to this engine cradle and weld a flat piece of uh, some kind of stock across and use these bolt holes, and that would be the tongue, so that doesn't seem too difficult. And just to give you an idea, this car doesn't have an exhaust on it since it's the trailer of what we were just looking at on the other car is that's what it looks like right there this is the frame the unibody frame and this uh, this trailer does not have the crash bar on it but uh so i might make a bar that goes across there and across here and across there and attach it just to give some more weight distribution to the crash bar um so yeah that's what we have. It'll be challenging, and hopefully we could do it in a short amount of time. All right. All right, so I have a tendency to overthink things. It took me three months to figure out where to cut this car and ten minutes to actually cut it in half, and now I'm sitting here thinking about every possibility, and my friend Jay just said, don't think, just do. Let's go get materials and start roughing everything up. And he's yeah, right, and that's and, see, and, see what you can do with what you got. and that's why I, that's yet. why so I need him here because here. right now if I'm here by myself and I give myself a ten to twelve day deadline to finish this, I'll end up playing on my racing simulator and not getting anything done. So. All right, so I'm here at Logan Steel. They got all kinds of stuff. This is called the Bargain Barn, and it's all just scrap stuff. You could buy whatever you want. Um, I had to buy brand new today square tubing. They're cutting it for me right now because unfortunately they didn't have the dimensions I needed in scrap. Uh, hopefully it's not too much money, but it is what it is. I need it, so I'm getting it. But this is just a huge warehouse full of every type of metal you could think of, and if they don't have it, they can order it for you. But uh, interesting place. They got laser cutting here. They got giant laser cutting machines, they can do whatever you want.
And uh, over here is some of the scrap aluminum all the way down here. Here's the aluminum for the tongue. 30 pounds. It's coming over. I decided to get the aluminum for the front door too. So I'm getting that. And uh, we get some Logan Steel t-shirts. Sweet. No turkeys. Tractor supply here to get the hitch. Where do we find hitches, Jay? Need a hitch receiver. We're gonna make it work somehow. Ah, things. Items of interest. Items. <laughs> Ooh, I need one of these too. Something like All right, so we're back here. We have some items. I have a multi-fit hitch item. I don't know if that's going to work or if we're going to use that. Then I got this little hitch receiver. I got this big sheet of aluminum and uh, some stuff for tongue. So right now up here, what we're doing is we're just test fitting everything. So this tongue, here, hold it back up there. I'm uh, thinking we're going to mount it to this uh, cradle, go across through this tunnel, and it'll stick out like that. And uh, I don't know how far, I left a little bit of extra material, but I think right now it's sticking out about 48 inches, so four feet long, which is longer than I think I'm going to need. So. Okay, so first thing I need to do is take off this rear bumper, rear valance, uh, these little side rear valance thingies back here. And uh, I opened up the trunk, pulled back the carpet, and undid the two bumper bolts there. Um, on this car, it's a little easier to see the other bolts. So on that, on this car, it's missing, but there is a little kind of splash shield here. It's bolted here and here, here and here. And then I got to take off this 10 mil. There's one above it in there you can't really see. And the exact same thing on the passenger side. So here it is on this car. A little bit of light, so I gotta take off that splash guard that'll allow me to get to the two bolts behind it. If I do that on both sides, the bumper should come right down. So, next thing I gotta do here, since I got all that off, is uh, the crash bar. I'm gonna take it off from there, and that one up there on both sides. Alright, so now we have the bumper off. And you can get a better look at where the nuts were. So there's a nut there, nut there. Uh, these are inside the trunk, right there. And then these are the crash bar ones, right there. All right, so we didn't get much done today, but we did a lot of uh, maths and uh, some measurements. And we got... That bar just sitting up there for now in place. And we got a lot of materials. Got this bumper off. And we're just kind of planning it out some more. So I think what's going to happen is we are going to weld a plate down here. Well, or we're going to bolt one on from steel and then weld this to it. Um, and this is going to be around here, this hitch receiver. I'm going to cut a little square on this valance. I have the valances so I don't mind cutting it but I kind of always wanted to take this one off anyway and make a custom valance but for now I'll just cut it and uh, so far what we did today after all that was we did some practice welding because I just picked up this aluminum welder and uh, we're just practicing stuff so before we start welding on the car so our welds are strong they're just not the prettiest but that's what I did right there and uh, you can see it penetrated well so once we're confident doing that, we'll start welding stuff up here. I'm pretty confident that even though our welds aren't the prettiest, that they are strong. So I think we'll be able to do what we're going to do. Um, now, this bumper support is its a crash support. It's meant for being hit at like 5 miles an hour. That's all it had to pass, I'm sure, to be safe. But uh, these brackets that hold on to it, they're not meant for pulling, and they're not meant for pulling loads or trailers or anything like that so I'm going to have to reinforce those somehow 
and I'm thinking the tow hooks up there I will make a bracket that bolts where those are that comes back along here and comes up and attaches to this actual bumper support the crash bar and uh, that should be enough to do the trick so yep signing out tomorrow's a new day my friends are gonna come over again and we're gonna mess around with uh, the trailer some more all right everybody thanks for watching I appreciate you tuning in I appreciate the support don't forget to like comment and subscribe below and stay tuned for more videos coming shortly I try to release one every week thanks